Hello guys, uh, sorry for any background noise today, I got a huge whole house dehumidifier buzzing right behind me, I'm in the basement right now. Um, right now I'm going to be reviewing Kaspersky Internet Security 2010. Um, this is an awesome suite in many ways, and first of all, the graphics are amazing. Um, they make a very powerful suite with actual hips easy to use, which is impressive because usually hips are very difficult to use. Um, their antivirus is not the best. I would never get their Kaspersky um, antivirus edition um, because their antivirus is not as good as others. Kaspersky also has a sandbox, which is another great feature because if you're browsing the web, you hit an exploit what happens? Some file gets downloaded onto your computer and it will infect you. But if you're running your Internet Explorer sandbox and you hit that exploit, the anything that comes in via the exploit, any executables that want to do harm to the system, are going to be unable to do that because they're in the sandbox. And if you just empty the sandbox, clean the sandbox, then you will have a clean computer. And it doesn't matter whether your antivirus detects it or not. It just works. I don't know why this is being so slow. Um, usually it installs faster than this. So I'm going to be testing this as a prevention test. Um, I'm going to be doing a full review, though. I'm going to be going over all the settings... Um, all the little interface things here and there. I'm just going to show you guys how to set different skins on Kaspersky. So if you don't like the default skin, there are different skins you can find at the Kaspersky fan club. Um, stuff like that. And uh, so this could be a long review. The other interesting thing that I'll point out is Kaspersky has a web guard, which most internet security suites do nowadays. Um, but it has a really, really powerful web guard. Um, I can be running, I can be downloading malware on my virtual machine, and the Kaspersky, is, which is on the host computer here, not the VM will be actually, it will implement its own HTML message when I try to download something inside the browser window. So it actually gets inside the VM from the outside to block threats. So I have to turn the web guard off of my Kaspersky to run this test to be effective. Um, I could basically test without even installing Kaspersky because it would block it with the web guard from the outside. But um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to turn off the web guard on my host. All right, so it just does a quick system analysis, gets an idea of what's running. Um, it basically gets an idea of the system so it doesn't alert against anything uh, unnecessary. So. It will give me a big red alert. The alerts are very clear. Um, and it will start updating if you click that. And so while this is downloading here, uh, we're going to go to the internet. And I'm going to download a skin for Kaspersky. All right, Kaspersky Fan Club. And if we go to Kaspersky Fan Club, and we go to the forum, there are many different skins here that you can find. There's a lot of great stuff for, for those who like Kaspersky. So, tweaking. Uh, we'll do this skin here. This should be cool. It's black, it looks like that. And so it brings you to Rapid Share, the free user. 
take a look back here. So it's it has big updates it has to do right now. So it's not going to do any of that very quickly. While all of that stuff is downloading, we're going to open up the settings here. Kaspersky's default settings are great. Uh, if you Kaspersky is known for being just a little bit heavy, and if you turn the settings up, you'll notice everything can load slower. So, don't turn the settings up. That's that's one thing I'm going to say. You can enable anti-banner, but if you use Firefox with Adblock Plus, that's a lot better. But, I'm going to enable anti-banner. Um, and then I'm going to use the Heuristic Analyzer. And uh, that way... That way it's just, you know, I probably won't see any banners that are advertising. Um, vulnerability scans. This will scan for system vulnerabilities. Um, anything, like, anything that Windows Update would fix, this would scan for. So basically, if this comes up with problems, you just update the programs it lists, and it will fix it. So I'm going to start at the top, I guess. Uh, file antivirus, this scans files on the computer. Uh, mail antivirus, this scans mail. Uh, web, that scans websites before you even download anything. Uh, I'm, that scans, yeah, pretty much. Application control, this controls applications uh, to not do any damage to the system, so if you have an untrusted application then it cannot do much damage to the system, so it kind of classifies them as trusted and untrusted, and you can kind of edit what's trusted and not trusted. So if you download a game or something, maybe the files are untrusted and they can't run, you just set them as an exclusion if you trust them. The firewall uh, controls network traffic, uh, proactive defense, it's more kind of application control. Um, this blocks network attacks, anti-spam, uh, anti-banner, and parental control if you want to do that. Uh, to scan the computer, you can edit the scans. For scans, I like to turn the protection up high, the security level, because it's good when you're scanned to have full, um, full power. So threats and exclusions, that's where you control exclusions and threats and stuff. Network, you can edit how it works with the network. Um, notifications, no, I don't feel like changing any of that. Um, you can change how it stores like stuff in the quarantine and the backups. To give them feedback. Um, appearance, this is where we're going to get to our skin here. Yeah, I do want to download the following file. But it's going to make me wait again. So I'm not going to apply the skin, actually, because that would take too much time, and I don't have that kind of time. So if you want to use the skin, check Use Alternate Skin, and you extract the skin file to your desktop, and click Browse and select that, and it'll load up the next skin. And then gaming pro profile, that'll make it so if you're gaming, it doesn't pop up any alerts. It chooses the actions. Okay. So it's updated here. Um, so, if we look here, the protection status is good. It tells you what it's detected here. Uh, you can look at your files and private data, and it will show you what's protecting what. Uh and then it'll show you, you can view what programs are protecting you. My security zone, this is the sandbox here. Anything you install, any programs you plop in here will run sandboxed and if anything comes in that's in going to infect your computer you can just hit clear and voila you're clean. And then you can scan your computer, updates, um, and then security plus so you can use virtual keyboards uh, rescue disks, browser settings, um, and activities history. So you can just, it's a really good, good program, and I'm going to go into the prevention aspect of it in the next part of this video. Alright, see you then.